Hey what's up everyone I'm Lisa and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get NoCoDB up and running with just a single command. This isn't just any command it's called the auto install command and it's a complete game changer. It's super straightforward no fuss no complicated steps just one command and you're all set. Let's get started. First let's head over to the NoCoDB documentation to get the auto install command. You will find it under installation. This command right here, let's copy that. This is all you need to get NoCoDB installed on your server. Now to get started, you will need a Linux based server and SSH access to it. Additionally, make sure to map a domain or subdomain you already own in your DNS settings. All right, so I'm already connected to my server here in the terminal. Let's paste the command. And as soon as you run it, the installation process kicks off. And the beauty about this command is it automatically installs all the prerequisites, Docker and Docker Compose, if they are not already installed on your server. Okay, so Docker installation is complete. And now it's going to ask for the IP address or domain name for your NoCoDB instance. Let's enter that. Do you want to configure SSL? Yes, definitely. Show advanced options. No, let's stick with the default installation. Now the installation process continues and you'll see it pulling down various components. This is where the magic happens. It grabs NoCoDB, Postgres database, Redis for caching, MinIO for file storage, Watchtower for automatic updates, so you don't have to manually track and upgrade new versions, traffic for SSL, which by the way, auto renews as well, and all of this only takes a few seconds. See, it's done already. Once all the components are up and running, it provides an intuitive menu, allowing you to easily upscale or downscale NoCoDB service. You can watch logs, monitor activity, and even perform manual upgrades. Now, let's open the browser and take a look. And there you go. NoCoDB is up and running, ready for you to start organizing your data. Here, as you can see, NoCoDB is set up in my own domain with SSL. Let me log in real quick. And boom, you can immediately start creating databases, adding records and customizing your setup to fit your needs. So that's it. That is essentially all it takes. A full NoCoDB installation with just a single command. It's really that simple. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching and happy self-hosting.